Hello and welcome to Competitive Crunch, my name is Fade and today we'll be looking at the usage stats of February 2014. And February was certainly another eventful month as Genesect and Mega Lucario received the Banhammer and that certainly caused more fluctuation in the OU tier and uh, that also freed up many spots for other Pokemon as those two were really dominant and now that they are gone they soon left a vacuum of power which will be perhaps filled by some other Pokemon. And so today we'll be looking at what is the case. Are there some Pokemon that will, will be uh, taking the spot of Mega Lucario and Genesect and uh, in general so, so much fluctuation. Uh, so without further ado, let's go and uh, see what is the number one Pokemon. Give me a guess. And here we go. It is still Rotom Wash, the Pokemon that you can just throw on any team, it has good synergy with, e with everything. But I've talked about Rotom Wash so much in the past months, so uh, let's move on, look at the top 10, and I made myself the pluses and the minuses list again, so we can conveniently see the changes going on in the OU tier. So, in the top 10, the first interesting change is that Charizard still keeps on uh, climbing up, perhaps due to uh, Mega Lucario being gone, because people are looking to uh, fill in that Mega spot. And uh, Mega Charizard, those evolutions, uh, they kind of work in a similar manner as Mega Lucario. When you see a Charizard, uh, the first question you have is, is it X or Y? Which one is it going to be? Is it going to be physical or special? And that's the kind of the same thing with Lucario. You know, the Mega Evolves and then you're like, does it have Nasty Blood? Does it have Swords Dance? Is, is it physical or special? What kind of Pokemon can I send out against this thing? Because you never can be sure. And Mega Charizard, in a way, uh, has that similar presence to Mega Lucario, depending on which one is it going to Mega Evolve into. You want to send out a special wall against the Mega Charizard Y and a physical wall against uh, the uh, Mega Charizard X, if you if you're looking to wall it, that is. Uh, but uh, that makes Mega Charizard a or both of those Mega Evolutions really dangerous, and especially Y, because uh, Mega Charizard Y can it can actually. Uh, perform a role of a mixed sweeper, because you can slap Flare Blitz onto this thing. I was talking with Joey, and he was telling me about a mixed Mega Charizard Y, and I was like, yeah, that's actually pretty good, because Mega, Char Mega Charizard Y has like uh, a tax stat of 104, so it's pretty respectable, and especially in the sun, if you give it Flare Blitz, you know, and you're just... Your opponent is assuming it's completely special, and then you hit, get hit with the sun boosted flare blitz. That's gonna definitely leave a scar. It's it's a really dangerous wall breaker, and uh, you know definitely trouble for stall, without a doubt. So Mega Charizard Y is really, really can be a really dangerous mix sweeper. But uh, anyways, both of those Mega Evolutions are just really good. That is why Mega Charizard uh, still keeps on rising, and especially. Uh, the um, Mega Lucario being gone, that's the final nail in the coffin, and uh, that uh, kind of buffed up Mega Charizard, and now it is uh, number two on the usage uh, charts. And then, another interesting change, I guess, Scissor is rising up five spots, perhaps, I don't know, I guess, you know, Genesect being gone, you know, Genesect was the primary U-turner in the meta game. And also, you know, Mega Lucario being gone, it was a strong physical attacker, so you're kind of looking for something with momentum, so I guess the next best thing is kind of, you know, Scissor also has that bullet punch, uh, you know, Scissor is kind of like, he has some similar traits to Mega Lucario and uh, Genesect, but it's not, you know, quite as good uh, as those things, because you know, you have the U-turn, which is powerful, but then you don't have the speed, you don't have the coverage moves, you cannot go mixed, but you, you still have powerful U-turn, you do have that priority, which is extremely nice, so it shows some similar traits to those Pokemon. Uh, but I'm mainly just saying that, uh, uh, in my opinion, Genesect being gone, people are looking to fill in that spot of a momentum gainer on your team, so it's easy enough to slap a scissor on the team. And besides, it's the same typing as... Uh, 
uh, Genesec anyways. Um, Zizor has that good natural bulk, so I'm, I'm sure Genesec uh, being gone from the metagame helped Scissor rise up a few spots uh, this month. And then we got a Conkeldur also rising up. You know, perhaps, you know, one fighting type is gone, so... Uh, and Kongaldur is gaining uh, momentum with the Assault West and it's still good bulking up and uh, now that Pokemon Bank is out we have access to the Elemental Punches so it's not warped by something like uh, Gliscor or stuff like that so Kongaldur overall awesome Pokemon and now that one fighting type is gone another rises I guess even though you know they they have different roles definitely since uh, Kongaldur is a uh, bulky attacker and uh, Megalocario was just a glass cannon sweeper but um, yeah those two Megalocario Genesect just uh, freeing up spots for other uh, useful Pokemon that weren't as good as in the past you know you just didn't have a reason to uh, really use anything as those two were just so dominant and good in the meta game so it looks like uh, those Pokemon being gone has a uh, Definitely given freedom to the uh, rest of the meta game, but anyways, um, that's it from top ten. Not too many interesting changes. Then at uh, number nineteen, Latios rises up uh, thirteen spots. I am not certain if this is simply because Genesect being gone. Uh, you know, it's not like uh, Genesect was a counter to Latios because it's not like you'll you'll be switching into. Uh, Hidden Power Fire, or even Spec Draco Meteor. Pretty sure that's like a two-hit KO, especially after Rocks. So, um, it wasn't, it, Genesec wasn't like a counter to Latios, but it was certainly keeping Latios at check and at, at bay, because it's always you turning around and Latios being a partially psychic type, that really hindered, hindered it down. And now that you don't need to worry about uh, Genesec anymore, Latios definitely has uh, more freedom in the metagame. But uh, I'm not entirely certain. Is uh, is it is, is the usage uh, spike with Latios only because of Genesect, or are there some uh, other reasons to it? But uh, I, I, certainly one of the reasons is Genesect. But overall, Latios is a really good Pokemon. You know, dropping those Draco Meteors has Psyshock to kind of go mixed and. Who knows what happens whenever the uh, Mega Latios gets released, but uh, so far that thing isn't out, at least at the, at the moment, so uh, we don't need to worry about that. But Latios is still overall a great Pokemon, so not surprised to uh, see this up. Anyways, uh, Genesect and uh, Lucario obviously dropping down both minus 16 due to them getting banned, but you can see how big of an impact they had in the metagame as they are still hanging in the usage, usage uh, statistics because they were so good and they kind of got banned halfway through the month. I don't remember when exactly, but they um, they still left a print in the uh, OU metagame for the beginning portion of February. And then we have a Bisharp. This is the Pokemon of the month. Plus 27. Bisharp has, ever since the beginning of X and Y metagame, Bisharp has, has been slowly gaining momentum. And now it is at, you know, top 20 of the, uh, or I guess in the top 30 charts in the, uh, in the uh, usage statistics uh, this month. It has been kind of hanging in the uh, OU, like at the end of, end, end of the tiers, like it's been barely OU for many months. You know, it started ba back when UU beta was created, it was the top underused tier Pokemon, but it was... Throughout the months, it was gaining more and more mo momentum, and it uh, it rose to the OU tier naturally by usage, and uh, now it has definitely made its uh, presence felt in the overused meta game, and it's just overall a great Pokemon. Steel, I, I talked about it in the past, but uh, Steel Dark Courage is uh, great offensively, and you can just spam that uh, knockoff, uh, which has that great utility of removing items, and then you have a Sucker Punch with Stab to kind of make up for the lackluster of speed, and uh, it's just overall a great Pokemon in this generation, not to mention the uh, sticky web Pokemon around, so you can uh, troll those with the uh, Defiance, get that plus two attack, which is uh, absolutely great for Bisharp, which doesn't rely on speed that much, and uh, still has that uh, Sucker Punch priority to uh, kind of make up for it, but uh, Plus 27, kind of something similar to Mandibuzz, 
some months ago. Not 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 so much. Mandibuzz was kind of a Pokemon that I think it rose like almost 70 spots or something like that. It was plus 69 one month because people noticed how good uh, Mandibuzz was. By but with the uh, B sharp, it has just generally slowly gaining more more, more momentum, and now it just kind of broke through the pack, and uh, now it's a. Uh, with this usage, it will definitely be because next month. I'm I'm just saying that next month there will be. Um, I believe next month, uh, the, the tier changes will be made official, and B sharp will definitely have enough usage by the three months to officially be overused. I think it's already, I think it is o already officially OU, I believe, because it's not in the UU beta anymore, because it has gained enough usage, but now it will be made official that Bisharp is definitely OU material. Anyways, um, then what else big changes do we have here? Uh, Pinsir rises up 8 spots, and uh, Bisharp, uh, um, not Bishop, but uh, let's not talk about Bishop anymore. But again, Mega Lucario being gone, it frees up a spot for another Mega Evolution on your team. Some people really like Pinsir, and some people consider Pinsir even being um, overpowered. It is cer certainly a huge threat. Ha has that aerial age return and quick attack. Uh, return hits like a truck, you know, get getting the aerial age boost and stab boost. Besides that, and uh, you know, you got moves like Earthquake, Close Combat, X Scissor, uh, what else do you need? And then as Pinsir, you can have Moxie ability or even that uh, ever so useful Mold Breaker. It's, it's an awesome Pokemon. And uh, I'm, I'm certain that this usage is, uh, this little spike here is due to Mega Lucario being gone. People are looking, in, looking into Phil. Fill up that uh, Mega Spot, so uh, some people are now using uh, Mega Pinsir more than they uh, used to in the past. But anyways, uh, some more significant changes. Uh, Mamoswine actually drops down 11 spots. Um, not really sure why, but then again, I think this is still a good spot for Mamoswine to be in. It's a great Pokemon. Usually uh, setting out those uh, Stellar Frogs, and uh, when you look at the overuse meta game. There aren't too many Pokemon that are able to take that ground and ice type uh, coverage. But I guess one month it was gaining more momentum and now it's kind of just uh, backing up, you know. I, I, I don't really know. Is there any 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 specific reason for this little uh, drop in usage with Mamoswine? But it's still a solid OU Pokemon, so, you know, it's... Nothing that uh, you have to cry about or anything, but Mamos 1 still a good Pokemon. This month just uh, happens to be uh, dropping down a uh, few spots. But anyways, um, then we got Galvantula rising up, and let's actually look at where Smeargle is. Minus 9, well that's interesting. I think, yeah, it was, well last month it was kind of the um, other way around. It was... Um, Smeargle that had more usage than uh, Galavantula. And of course these two are competing in usage uh, due to Sticky Web. And this time, uh, I, I guess people just prefer fast uh, Sticky Web because Galavantula is the fastest uh, Sticky Web user. So that's something really noteworthy right there. So I, I guess this month people just uh, prefer using Galavantula. But yeah, it, it, this has been a really interesting uh, uh, fight between Galvantula and uh, Smeargle. At one time they completely dropped down, dropped out of OU, and now they're again in the OU tier. Uh, but so far Smeargle is the one who has been dominating, and Galvantula has been following. But this month it is actually the other way around, which is uh, pretty cool. But uh, people are just, I guess, still experimenting with uh, Sticky Web, and this month uh, Galvantula was the uh, winner right here. And then let's say, let's see, let's see, Trevenant apparently losing some momentum. Um, not really sure why, but you know, I guess people are through with the gimmick and it uh, kind of just keeps on dropping down. But still, uh, the ghost, ghost grass typing is really unique, uh, great defensively. This thing has the awesome ability Harvest, which it can use in so many different ways with Citrus Berry, Chesto Berry, you can use Rest on that thing. And uh, I guess you could even use its other ability with rest, you know, you've got the natural cure. So 
there's that option, but you know, it's mainly about the harvest ability and uh, citrus berry. You can use uh, curse on this thing, which makes it really unique. But I guess people have already seen this gimmick. But uh, you know, rapid spinners are still around, so this thing can do some spin blocking to an extent. But you know, of course, there's defog around, and the gimmick of the curse citrus berry has kind of been seen. So I'd say that is what is causing some uh, momentum losing for Dreminent here. I would say. Uh, then, what other significant changes do we have? Thunderous rises up five spots, you know, solid Pokemon. Uh, you know, plus five isn't really too much to really uh, say anything about, really. You know, I, I don't really see any anything significant about it, but, you know, Thunder is definitely a solid Pokemon. I guess Mega Lucario being gone, you can. You know, Thunderous was banned in the previous generation, and now as something as broken as, you know, Megalocario has gone, you know, some people may be experimenting with uh, Thunderous. It's still a dangerous, nasty bot sweeper. But anyways, rambling, um, not too, anything too significant. Uh, yeah, I already went uh, through Smeargle here. Um, so I, I guess that's through the most, uh, uh, that's the most of the things, and... Um, I don't think I'll, I'll I'll ramble about anything. I would kind of like to keep these episodes brief. In the past, you know, I've taken too much time, you know, talking about every Pokemon, but, you know, that's how it usually just drags out for way too long, so I wouldn't want uh, that to happen. So I will conclude this episode right here. We went through all the major changes. No need to talk about it every Pokemon every month, right? I think you guys will agree with that but uh, I, I guess we could look at the runner-ups real quick at the uh, so it was uh, whatchamacallit Gardevoir was actually the last OU Pokemon so this month Gardevoir has enough usage for the OU tier I guess that's something no noteworthy because uh, Mega Gardevoir got banned from the UU beta because it was spamming that uh, hyper voice with the pixelate and kind of dominating everything and now that this uh, powerhouse is gone, you know, people are looking to still use it because it's a cool Pokemon, so they're using it in OU and this month it actually had just enough usage to be in OU, but I'm pretty sure that it will not have enough usage uh, next month by the, uh, when you're counting in the three month usage, it hasn't been used enough in OU to officially be OU, but this month it is actually at the uh, OU limit, as 3.4 is the uh, cutoff point for OU tier, but yeah, it has risen from the UU beta, it, but it's a great Pokemon. You got that Hyper Voice uh, Pixelate thingy Mac Power going on, and then overall you have great coverage moves, so uh, what else do you need for an awesome wall breaker? So there is that, but um, anyways, it was right here, followed by Chansey, then Scullybead, Slowbrow, Vaporeon, Jolteon, Blastoise, Ditto, Latias is there, and then Medicham. Medicham also received the ban hammer from UU Beta, as did Terrakion, as did Kieran Black, as did Landorus and Heracross, so they're kind of, you know, struggling for usage here in the uh, OU meta game, not quite enough. Same thing for Scolipede, it was, you know, dropped out, but uh, still not enough for OU. It's a, it's a cool baton passer, and uh, with sword stands, you know, speed boost, all that crap. But, you know, it's still kind of a gimmick, so doesn't have quite enough usage in the OU, even though it's one of the greatest baton passers at this moment. Definitely better typing than uh, Ninjask has, so there is that. But anyways, like I said, don't want to ramble out too much. Just wanted to go through these runner-ups here to OU tier. How is that looking up now? And now we have uh, gone through that, so let me know what you think about these changes this month. Um, leave me a comment below and uh, what do you think, what are your choices for the Pokemon to take over uh, Mega Lucario and uh, Genesect and their vacuum of power? It certainly looks like uh, Charizard is uh, gaining a lot more, more momentum. Might be another Pokemon that could be getting suspect tested. Really interesting thing because you know you have the two Mega Evolutions for it so uh, but I could see potentially at least the Mega Charizard Y getting uh, the at least the suspect test because it's a really dangerous uh, mixed attacker and can kind of destroy everything. It has the coverage moves for that, can go mixed. 
So there is that. It's a it's a really dangerous Pokemon. But what makes Charizard interesting is that you know it has those two Mega Evolutions, like I uh, talked about in the beginning. And uh, unlike with Mega Lucario, that has one Mega Evolution but can still go mixed. With Charizard, you just got two separate Mega Evolutions uh, that are in in all. In most of the situations, you know, <laughs> X is the physical one, Y is the special one. So you need to worry about those mind games right there. But it's not like you can just ban one because uh, then it doesn't justify leaving the other in. Because it's just the kind of dilemma that they're not broken without each other. Because it's, it's just the mind games that you don't know which one it really is. And Mega Charizard Y, it can be mixed. So in a way, you could see Mega Charizard Y being the more broken one, but uh, it's just a great, Mega Charizard Y is just overall a great, I, I'd say, as a mix sweeper, it would be a great stall breaker, but I don't really see it as broken. But anyways, let's not ramble about this anymore, because <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm thinking, and I can't, I cannot get my thoughts out here, so I will conclude this episode, uh, let me hear your thoughts, what do you think are the Pokemon that will take up the spots of, uh, uh, Mega Lucario and uh, Genesect, and do you feel there are Pokemon that should uh, receive the Banhammer? Uh, at least at this moment, like I was saying, Mega Charizard is uh, gaining some controversy, as is uh, Mega Pinsir too, due to its nature and powerful attacks and everything. You know, that Aerial Age return and the coverage moves you have, it's a really dangerous Pokemon. Uh, perhaps not too broken, but it's it's still kind of a controversial Pokemon. It's out there. It has potential to at least be suspect tested to be looked upon. I'm not saying they should get banned, but I do say uh, Charizard and Pinsir are the kind of Pokemon that you should at least take a look at. You know what they are up to. And there are some others, but I'm not going to talk about that, ramble about th uh, that anymore. So leave your thoughts. Leave your thoughts about the usage. That's as well. What do you think about these Pokemon? And if you have some uh, uh, opinions of your own, if you know why some certain Pokemon were risen up, like, you know, Mammoth Wine was dropping out this month, if you have an explanation for that better than I had, you know, I didn't really have any reason for that. But uh, leave your thoughts. But anyways, at this point I'm rambling, and I'm confused, and uh, I'm repeating myself again. So that's a sign that I should conclude the episode, and so I will. Thank you for watching, and until next time, this is Spade rambling, and possibly next time checking the UU stats, maybe, or maybe in the future, I'm not sure. We shall see next time. Until then, this is Spade rambling and signing out again. Peace!